This is question number 21 from the mid-semester exam and we're trying to calculate in this one the instantaneous failure rate of this, um, this series system and subsystems A and B have exponential failure times with means of 1.25 and 2.5 respectively, remembering that that means we've got lambda A is equal to 1 over 1.25 and lambda B is equal to 1 over 2.5. And then what do we got? We need to find the instantaneous failure rate which is H of T. If you haven't already you need to memorize what these terms actually refer to because they don't seem to get given to us and that's fine as long as you know. So H of T is going to be given by the reliability or the minus the first derivative of reliability divided by the reliability of T with respect to T, sorry, so the reliability of the whole system with respect to T. So what we need to do is define the reliability of the whole system and then we can calculate this sum relatively easily. So what's the reliability of the system, reliability P, with respect to T here? Well, with a normal, with any of these systems, the reliability is going to be given by, um, oh well, this is actually series, not parallel. I just realized what the P and S stood for in these things. It's going to be given by, not that, um, the product from n equals 1 to i sorry <laughs> product from i equals 1 to n of um, the reliability of each notice that in the um, previous example we did parallel and we had 1 minus ri and all the products and then we had to do 1 minus all of that. That's because we were trying to find the probability that all of them were going to fail and then use that to determine the reliability of the system. In this one we don't need to because we only, we only need 1 to fail for the whole thing to fail and that means that um, we can actually take the reliability of the, the, the probability of that one living or the reliability and you multiply it by the probability of that one surviving to the same time and multiplying them together gives you the probability of the whole thing um, living till the same time. I hope that makes sense. Uh, because we've got the probability of, um, the reliability is the pr probability of lasting to a certain amount of time and we want both, to, both of them to have lasted that amount of time, the probability of one multiplied by the other is the way we need to do it to contrast to the previous example. If that doesn't make sense, let me know and I'll do that again. Um, so in this case what we're doing is we're taking the reliability of one minus the, uh, multiplied by the reliability of the other and remembering that um, we've got the reliability of an exponential um, component or an exponential distribution given by e to the um, minus lambda t lambda a t and multiplied by e to the minus lambda b t and that's going to get us e to the uh, minus lambda a ugh, plus lambda b t you can see if you had three or four, you'd just add up all the lambdas. It would be e to the minus sum of all the lambdas times t. So that's the reliability. So to find the hazard, all we have to do is to take um, the negative uh, derivative of that, which is going to be, so the derivative is going to be minus lambda a plus lambda b times e to the minus e to the uh, e to the lambda n plus bt so this is just going to be positive lambda a plus lambda b 
multiplied by e to the minus lambda a plus lambda b, all in brackets, t, and divided by this thing, um, which is e to the minus lambda a plus lambda b t and I'm suddenly realizing that this might have been a very easy thing to calculate but I haven't seen where because those just cancel um, and we end up with <laughs> lambda a plus lambda b which is in this case going to be 1 over 2.5 plus 1 over 1.25 which is going to be equal to 1 divided by 1.25 equals 1.2 so I can't help but feeling that that was a uh, quite a big waste of time sorry everyone so the uh, the bottom line is if you're calculating the reliability or the instantaneous failure rate for um, series exponential distributed systems um, you can just add up the lambdas or so it seems. I uh, hope that helped, if it didn't, sorry, on to the next one.